Cheers. Cheers. Hey, guys. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Beer and the Wilmington Brew Works podcast, where we let you know what's going on in our taproom this week. Yeah. We got some fun things going on this week at St. Patrick's Day, yeah. uh, this Sunday. Um, so we've got a full week of events on uh, Monday night. We've got Dungeons and Drafts. We have a lot of uh, DMs this week, so we should have a full, uh, full room in there, which is always a lot of fun. Tuesday night, Turntable Tuesday, as always. We did our Yacht Rock last week. That was a lot of fun. Um, uh, Wednesday, we've got another open cornhole tournament in the uh, Alamo Room. Um, I'm going to skip to Friday and Sunday of St. Patrick's Day weekend because we have Irish dancers from the Harper Academy of Irish Dance coming in. They're going to come right into the tap room and uh, do a little toe tapping, uh, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, it's always great to have them out. We will make sure that we have uh, plenty of beer for the parents that have been going around from place to place with those uh, with, with, with those uh, y young uh, ladies and gentlemen. We've got uh, delicious Irish stout just for the occasion. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we're not going to dye anything green. Nothing. No, that, no, no green no. beer. Yeah, and on, on Friday night, of course, we have live music here in the tap room. We'll be right after the Irish dancers. It is uh, Cat Rivers playing. Um, and then a, a fun thing, on Thursday, we have Chapel Street Junction. They are a local band that does Irish and Americana music sponsored by the Queen. Uh, so come out and enjoy some good music. Totally worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, we have Geeks with Trivia on Wednesday. Geeks. Oh, thank you for geeks thank you. that Geeks that drink. Oh, geeks, geeks that drink. Ge geeks that drink. But they bring trivia. Geeks who drink. Yeah, they have trivia. And um, if you didn't see the news, there is an attendance contest for the next, um, well, now seven more weeks. Um, the winning team gets four Sellerman Circle memberships. Um, that is a crazy value. Um, so you're already a week behind if you weren't there last week, but there's still time to catch up. Come on in and play some trivia with us. It's a good time. Yeah, Morgan does absolutely. a great job up yeah. there. Yeah. Um, all right. So, Ryan, what do we have in front of us, man? I know you were out in our uh, commissary kitchen playing this week. So yeah. Tell um, us about what you got. So we are very excited to announce that we now have house-made hummus available Ooh, for purchase. We got Ooh. our own food. That's Brewer's right. Hummus. Brewer's hummus. If you have more than one hummus, is it hummai? Sure. No, it's not Latin. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Latin. Uh, so this week, uh, our flavors that we have available are uh, classic hummus. We have a wonderful black garlic and truffle. And then John's favorite, Calabrian chili. Sounds like it's going to be super spicy, but it's not. It's just a nice, subtle hint of spice. Uh, really delicious. It's about as cantankerous as my uh, Calabrian grandfather. There you go. <laughs> um, when you purchase hummus, you can buy it separately or you can buy it as a combo where you can get the uh, a package of nine of these three inch pita rounds, or you can get it with any one of our crackers that we have available. Absolutely, these are all on the QR ordering. John has uh, yeah. spent a little time this week setting the QR code up for this. So you guys should, I mean, it's almost worth exploring the QR code just to see the wonders of technology. Yeah. Um, folks, I will say, like, John's got a uh, undelivered mail cracked right over there. Yeah. It's been, it's been a minute since we've had undelivered mail in our tap room, and I'm so excited it was back. So what I wanted to do was uh, taste a little bit of undelivered with you guys today and, uh, and really tell you why it is one of our favorites, and it's one of a lot of people's favorites yeah. as well. Yeah, let's do it. I'm just going to eat hummus while you do that. Oh, yeah, you absolutely can. So you guys notice a little bit from the glass. Um, our, this beer is so nice that it creates a this fantastic pillowy white head. Mm -hmm. um, it is so smooth, so fluffy, and the texture of the beer as you're drinking it. Yeah, now they can see it. Now we're going to see the now we're going to see the beer. The texture of this beer as you're drinking it. What a mouthfeel. I mean, it is so silky smooth and the hop presence that's there. You guys know that I don't like hoppy beers. I'll drink lagers all day long, but holy cow, this undelivered mail, it goes down very smooth. I'm gonna tell you, it goes really well with the hummus. <clears throat> it really does, John. The, um, I'm, I'm really surprised with Ryan's hand at the hummus. I mean, that's not Surprise. intended to be a negative. <laughs> um, you know, like well, he's done a fantastic job. I typically don't like the plain hummus, but there's this, uh, there's this really great lemon and tahini character to it. Uh, tahini, tahini, tahini mm -hmm. character to it um, that pairs so wonderfully with the undelivered mail. I was like, I I ate some in the uh, production space yesterday, and I was like, oh man, this is gonna go great together. Oh man, that truffle is it's so good, right? Yeah. And just another quick note about these: 
all of our hummus are uh, vegan friendly and the pitas are also vegan friendly. So if you're looking for a snack that is uh, not cheese, we now have this. Yeah, and uh, house made and hopefully we'll have some more house made stuff coming uh, in the next couple months. We got some things in the works. Yeah, uh, and just as a heads up guys for the beer, our, our lovely undelivered mail. We actually blended this out with a little bit of the tangerine dream that we have left. Ooh. So we've got a tangerine version of undelivered mail. We'll also have black mail, one of our favorite. The blackberry. Fruited. Yeah. Uh, fruited cuvee. Cuvee. Cuvee, yeah. Fruited IPA. Um, in addition to that, John, we're bringing back Crew Australis. Love it. It's, uh, some of these beers, man, I look, I look back at our schedule and it's been so long since we've had them. Yeah. <laughs> It's great to roll them back into the lineup. So we've got um, we've got that coming back. Grapefruit superfluous will okay. be making a return as well as the uh, OG superfluous. I think this is a, a good time to call out to our fans to say, go on our website, go to the Beer Insider section. Every beer that we've ever made from day one through last week is up there. Do a search. Remember those old ones that were your favorites and then drop us a note and tell us what we need to bring back. Absolutely. Give uh, give us some inspiration of uh, theoretical what you... holes. Oh man, uh, uh, well, you know what, Terry Mouse. You know what I want to do again. I want to get back there and brew naked. I keep looking for an excuse to do. Uh, oh, satirical. sartorial absence. I thought you were just having a fun time. I did. Well, it was a good time, yeah. but sartorial absence is always great. Yeah. See, and I want moral hazard back because that was a fun one. That was yeah. a good one. Yeah. Well, I, I think. Growing naked might be a moral hazard as well. <laughs> Physical hazard too. <laughs> All right. So uh, we made a commitment to keep these a little bit shorter. We know our last ones have been a, a little long. So uh, any last words before we uh, hop off? Hey, Gentlemen? if you watched this far, comment your comment something below. Let us know. I was going to think of something clever, but I, I we're not clever. No, 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 no pressure no. on us. <laughs> <laughs> we're not clever. Nope. My last word is cheers. Oh, let's do it. Cheers. cheers. Okay.